Okay, good morning. So we're up to Simon Kuf Tzadi Dalet. Um, <coughs> you've got three people who eat together and um, and then they break up. The Indian has Zimun Madinam. So the halach is about what is the uh, what is the din regarding Zimun for these people. So says the Mechab Asif Three people sat down to eat together. And each one forgot they had a Zimun. They had a chance to do a Zimun. It happens. And each one just went ahead and benched. Bottle mehem has zimun. They've now lost the opportunity to do a zimun. <coughs> Once they've benched, you can't go back and just say Rabbi uh, Nevarich. It's too late. You've benched and you've lost your opportunity to do zimun. mehem. And so too, if two of the three went ahead and benched, uh, the third one, or they've now lost their opportunity to do zimun. Avalim shochach echod mehem uveirach. But if one of the three went ahead and benched, and the other two were sitting there thinking, what are you doing? Why did you go ahead and bench? We had a zimun. Two of them can do zimun with the third one. Even though the third one has already benched, it's still appropriate to say, and uh, the other two have been yet to the, well, all of them have been yet to the chiyot zimun. The, sorry, the, the, the other two. The who ain't a yotzi? They zimun, and he he's not been yotzi he, because he's benched already. But the other two can still do it. She uh, ain't zimun lemafreya because this third person has benched, and there's no zimun lemafreya. Says the Rama, ve'imo echod zimen imacherim. And if the one person went and did it with other people, af shnayim hanisharim einam yucheilin ezamin, then the other two can't do it. We'll see that in the Mishnah What that means. So says the Mishnah Um So again, what does the Machaba say? That if three people are sitting together and they all went ahead and benched, they've lost the opportunity to do zimun. Says the Mishnah Bura, they can't know, they can no longer say nevarich. What are they preparing them for? Zimun means to prepare. We're about to bench, but if they've all benched, it's too late. And therefore, if they've gone ahead and done it, <coughs> obviously it makes no sense to, to say, to, to do the zimun now. Um, and not only that, we said, that if, if, two, if uh, two of them have benched, also they've, they've missed the opportunity. However, if only one of the people, the three people, forgot <coughs> and went ahead and benched, the shnaim yechelim lezamein, because the truth is, the third guy who went and benched, he is also mechuyim and zimun. Because he ate with the other two, it's just that he's he's missed it. He's got no uh, rem- remedy. Because he already went ahead and benched, and there's no zimun lemafreya. So at least he's able to join the other two. So if three people are sitting together and they all forgot and they benched, it's too late. If two people forgot, too late. But if one forgot and just went ahead and benched, the other two you know, can still do zimun with that third one, even though he's benched. It's enough that he ate with them, that he can uh, participate and be mitzitarif with the other two, that they've now got a zimun. So interesting notes, number two and three. He says, uh, however, he says, so what if you've got a situation where nine people eat bread and the tenth person had a fruit, had a vegetable? And uh, if the guy, the tenth guy, who had a shahakal, or a burp and he made a burn of foshas, so this concept of a third person who's, he sort of went ahead and he benched, being able to start with them is only true for bread, but not for brain of Because you can't be, and, and the Chilog will explain later on in the Shem. Now, and furthermore, the footnote number three, an interesting footnote, of uh, which is very, another interesting Chilog. So in that, in the scenario that we're now discussing, where you've got three people sat down together, one of them went ahead and benched, he forgot, and he went ahead and benched. So he can still be mitzvah with them in Zimun, but moreover, says the Chaznish, he doesn't have to wait to the end of Bircha Sazon Esakol. He can just go, they've done the Zimun, he doesn't have to wait for them. Okay, good.
Uh, okay, let's continue the Mishnah Bura. So, um, good morning. Uh, okay, and the Ramal then said, If one of them went and did a Zimun with somebody else, Then the other two have lost it, they can't do Zimun. Says Mishnah Bura, you've gotten Gimel. Hainu. So in other words, you have three people, they've got a chi of zimun. So till now we've said that if three of them went ahead and benched, or even two of them went ahead and benched, they've lost the opportunity to do zimun. If one of them went ahead and benched, he can still do zimun with the other two, and uh, that still works. But if the third one went and joined another group, and ate a little bit with them, and joined in their zimun, then, as the Ramal says, Af shnaim The other two remaining cannot do zimun. Says Mishabura Dalit, Echot, or using that third guy, because his chiyuv of zimun has already been discharged by him joining another group, and therefore he's not part of them anymore, and therefore he doesn't help you, and therefore the first two can no longer do zimun. Miu im nizdamin lechem echot, sorry lohem echot minashuk yechayin lezamin olav. There is an Eitzah. The Eitzah is get a new person, bring him in from the street or wherever, and let him have something to eat. Their Chiyuv is still there. It's just that they're frust- they're, 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 they've blown it because this third guy went and did a Zimun with somebody else. But if they get a new person in, have something to eat, then he can, they can resurrect it, as it were, and they can still do it. Uh, if you look at number five, um, yeah, he says, V'dasa Chaznish, not only that, even the guy who benched, he can now re-eat and join his original two. He says, whoops, I'm so sorry, guys. I totally forgot. I went and benched. Uh, he can, uh, and he went, to, sorry, he went and did a zimun somebody else, somewhere else. He can now, and he benched there, and he can, he can re- rejoin that group. I should eat something. I should eat something. And so the Chaznish wonders why the Mishnabura writes Echot Menashuk. Okay, Pseida, that's a separate point. Shinish Besorachian, very much fine. Okay, Pseida. Okay, base. Shloisha She'ochlu. Three people ate together. The Yotza Echot Mehem Nashuk. Now, one of them uh, got up to go and he went out to the street. Kairim Oisai, you call him back. Umoidim Loisha writes him Lezamin. And they say to him, hey, listen, you, we were on a bench, we want to do Zimun. So he doesn't have to actually physically come back to the table. He can still stand just by the doorway and listen to the zimun, and that's enough. And even though he doesn't come back and sit with them, they can still sort of shout out, even though he's standing by the door, that works. That only is true with three people, a zimun of three. When it comes to ten, and the, 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 the need, therefore, to say, Elokeinu, but when it comes to you don't shout out the Shem Hashem for a guy who's standing by the door, rather it only works for him to come back to the table or whatever and sit with them. Okay, says the Mishra Bura, so you call back the third guy to the entrance way so that he can have Kavana to, to listen. Uh, to the zimun, but if he doesn't answer, then he doesn't participate. He doesn't partake in the zimun because he's not sitting with them. But if he was literally with the other two, you can do it against his will. In other words, you can do the zimun even though he's not responding. etc. etc. He's also the third guy has also fulfilled his uh, his his in zimun. Sheina ba and and he doesn't actually have to. Sure, yes, yeah. Sorry, somebody there are two people and the third person doesn't know how to be mezamin. So so it seems like it's not a problem. Yeah, yeah. So so it sounds like from the Mishnah Bura. That if the third person doesn't even aunt, doesn't respond, but he's just there, then it's sufficient to do the zimun. That's what it sounds like from here. Which is you're right. Sometimes you have that situation. You're you've got a guest, it's a baltruva, whatever, who's uh, who's um, not you know, and and, um, and he doesn't know. So lecher, it seems like from here that as so long as his presence is there, then it's enough for the other two to respond, or to two to do the talking. 
Okay, she'ena ba sif kalsin ches and a shayim ed negaz a pesach pesamach lohem. So you call him back and say, hey, listen, we need to do a zimun, and he comes back to the door. That's enough. So he's standing in negaz a pesach pesamach lohem. For ayin simun and hey, sif beis the mavur sham daaf im yesh tinuf bein time. If there's some sort of dirt which prevents from saying a bracha, which uh, it, it sort of interrupts his mafsi, mafsi is mafsi between them. Uchushe yigmar in yonay. So you check out that we'll do that in sif chaf. Uchushe yigmar in yonay. Uh, he had to run out for something, so he can come, he come to the door, they do the zimun, and then he comes back and he benches later. But if he waits there, and someone is might see him in Berchus HaMozun, that works. And then he doesn't need to bench later because someone has been might see him. Um, <coughs> There's another interesting note uh, in number 11. Not only does he have to stand by the door and hear and listen, but there's got to be visibility. The third person has got to see the other two. It's not enough just to hear them. Okay, and let's just finish off. Gimel. Three people sit down together to eat. Not everyone knows uh, all of Birchas Amazon. They didn't have benches. They haven't got smartphones with the Birchas Amazon on it. But they, all, all three of them are sitting down, and one of them doesn't know the whole of. Um, sorry, not one of them knows the entire Birchas Amazon. Now, one knows the first bracha. Remember, there are three brachas in the Torah. So between the three of them, they're going to be okay. Chayavim bezimun, they can do a zimun. For kol echod yivarech habracha sheyadeh, each one does what he knows. For afal pish, ain bohem mishyadeh bracha revi is ain bekach klum. I, so each one is mates each other with a, with their bracha they know. I, you don't know the fourth bracha. That's not ma'akev. That is midrabbanon, and it doesn't. It's not ma'akev the deraisa obligation to bench. Avol chatzoyin. If they only know half of the first or second or third bracha, that doesn't help you. You can't divide one bracha between two. Says the Mishnah Burah, because if there were one person there who knows the entire Birchas Amazon, but better he should bench and be mate to the others. For Lola Khalik Birchas Amazon, the Prakim Prakim, not to split up Birchas Amazon between three people. Bracha Rishay, Nahainu Levad, Me Birchas Nevarek. The first Bracha means from Baracha to Hashem, Hazanis Oilam, till Hazanis Akal, and does not include the Rabbi Sai Nevarek. Shetzor Hazam and Lum, Mitzchilas Birchas Amazon, that the person normally starts with. Kale Chod Yevarek, Rotzaloma, Vichav and Hotez Chaveris. So each one says the Bracha that he knows and he has in mind to be mate to the other two. Ain bekach klum if they don't know the fourth bracha, the birchas atov ametiv lav deraisehi ulafichach einem akevus lasholish abrachas. Umashem mizeh to baachas misholish brachas hakoyim. The implication of this is though that if in the first three brachas in ain echod mehem yeshiadei osa, if you don't know one of the first three brachas, maakev shlevarchu klal. The implication is that not knowing one of the first three brachas minatora prevents you from benching at all. The brachas maakev zu ezu. The yesh poskim shes over him. The no, the af min atayra chayav for the baruch hashem. He's still got a chiv to bench min atayra. Become akim ein ma'ak v'zu ezu. And if you don't know one of the three brachas or whatever, you can still bench. Or lefichach misha en yedei levarach la brachas ve'iyev shal likra baki sheyetz berachas mazon. If he doesn't know all the brachas and he doesn't, he can't call somebody to help him. Tzorich levarach al kol panim abrachas yedei osa. Just do what you can and bench the bracha that you happen to know. Well, the Indian dinner and the halach would therefore would be im ochel kadei severe. If he ate to satiation, he satisfied. That means he's got a chiv min atayra to bench to chiv the berachas amazon shalom min atayra yesh lachme kashit azu levarach osa and just bench what you know. So if you know the first bracha, not the rest, at least do that. So just to summarize. Three halachas in this simon. Number one, if three people sat down to eat uh, um, and uh, they forgot to, to do zimun, they just went ahead and benched. They've parchos zimun, uh, zimun shalem, that their zimun has flown away and it's too late. And not only three, but even if two. However, if one has abandoned ship and he goes off, um, they, they then uh, they call him back or he's benched, he's already went ahead and benched, then he still is it, they still, he still can be mitzvah with them to do zimun. Um, Alternatively, if he's gone, they can call in somebody else, or even if it's bench, they can get him to eat something else and to still do their zimun. Um, and then, lastly, if um, um, 
if he's gone out, they can call him back to the door and he can stand by the door and see and, uh, and be partake of the benching. When it comes to 10, we don't do that. And then the, the, the Kasif Kimmel said that if uh, three people are sitting down to eat and they each know one of the brachas of benching, each one can be moved to the other one. Um, if they didn't know one bracha, what happens if you only know part of benching? If you ate and you got a chiv minat Torah because you ate to satiation, then uh, you should just bench what you know, even though there's a machlikas, you should bench what you know because that's a suffix in a deraisa. Okay.